with a desperate heart heart of mine I dig deep and this I find that my Lord buried jewels of love and wisdom place light inside of me gave me a map to reach the peak of my potential so I keep on pushing Bismillah alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I'm Ustad Sufu Hashem your PE teacher coming to you again. This time I'm coming to you from Cook Park, West Springfield. What you just saw me doing was running the stairs, actually jogging the stairs. That's one of the first exercises you guys will be doing today, inshallah, the Almighty wills. You're gonna jog up your stairs. Everybody should have stairs in the house, right? You're gonna jog up the stairs and down the stairs, up the stairs, down. So nice jogging, not running, not hopping, not jumping, not running, not falling, none of that stuff. We're jogging up the stairs, got it? We're not making a lot of noise, we're not boom, boom, like a bunch of elephants, right? We're gonna hop, this, not hop, we're gonna walk up the stairs, not walk up the stairs. We're gonna run up the stairs, we're not gonna run up the stairs. We're going to jog up the stairs, got it? We're gonna jog up the stairs, okay? Nice and quiet, like little cats. Banging softly on those feet, not banging and clanging and falling out like elephants, all right? So that's going to be the start of the exercise. When we get into the other exercise, we'll follow up on this. But anyway, if this uh, video doesn't get you before the Eid, Eid Mubarak, if it gets you before the Eid, Eid Mubarak anyway. Inshallah, you enjoy your Eid and make dua for me and Ummah to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and all of humanity. All right, so without further ado, we're going to get started with PE for Ahuda Academy, all right? I want you guys to make sure you definitely watch this video. If you don't watch this video, you're not gonna get a good mark. Gotta get a good mark. So let's get into it. Let's do this. Okay, next exercise is jogging in place and punching. Okay, ready? Let's go jog, jog. When I punch, you stop and go. Let's jog again. When I stop, you go. Got it? You just run, you jog, you jog, you jog, you jog, and I say stop and go. And then start jogging again, okay? Got it? That's what we're doing. Ready? Go, let's jog. Let's hear that breathing. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Now relax those shoulders. Breathe. Get those feet up a little bit. We're not burning up a lot of energy, just enough. We know it's Ramadan. Everybody's fasting, inshallah. So this is for your older guys. Remember, fifth grade up, up to middle school. Go! Jog. Jog, go. Jog, jog, jog. I tricked you. You thought I was gonna say go again, right? Go. Jog, go. Jog, 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 go. Jog, jog, go. Jog, jog, go. Jog, jog, go. Jog. I'm gonna do six in a row. Nice and smooth, not fast, but smooth. Smooth and defined, ready, go. How many is that? I don't know, go. Let's jog, 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 go. Jog, 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 jog. We're gonna keep jogging a little bit more. When I say go, we're gonna do 10. Nice smooth, 10 nice smooth ones. Then we're gonna stop, got it, go. Good, take a deep breath, into your nose, out to your mouth, into your nose, out to your mouth, into your nose, out to your mouth. Now it's time to rest. You get a 30 second rest. While we're resting, we're stretching. Come down, touch your toes. Good. Now that's good. Feel good. We were jogging. We we're throwing those punches. We're not really throwing really serious punches. Just, just did the workout. Of course, if we're doing martial arts. We're a little bit different. We're more defined. 
more definite and more serious, right? But we're just doing this as a workout, so sh 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 this might give you the martial arts fever. So maybe next year you guys might want to do a martial arts, especially you older kids. Any more older kids in a martial arts class? All right, great. So we rested a little bit. What's the next exercise you're gonna do? The next exercise is kicking. We're jogging like nice and smooth. We're jogging down the street, then we're jogging down the street. Jogging down the street, nice, smooth, cool jog. We're outside, the sun is shining. Nice and cool, warm, not cold, not hot. We're jogging, jogging, jogging. All of a sudden, some big giant dog or some big giant panda bear jumps out in front of you. So you stop and go, bang. Bang! Then you keep jogging. Keep jogging. Keep jogging. Right? Got it? So that's what we're going to do. Imagine your mind. We're seeing a big giant panda bear. Alright? Well, it could be anything. It could be a big giant dog. It could be a big giant person. I hope it's not a big giant person. Or a big giant panda bear. Or a big giant dog. Because you're not kicking too hard. We're just kicking like, we're going to get used to it though anyway. Like I said, this might give you a little bit of incentive to uh, join the martial arts class next year. Alright? So we're jogging in place. Jog. Jog, jog, kick. Let's go, jog, jog. Here comes that panda bear, kick. Jog, so here he comes. Jog, jog, he's coming this way. Turn, turn and kick. Jog, jog, he's coming this way. Turn. Jog, 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 jog. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Kick. And jog all the way home, jog, 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 We're home. Okay, next is sit-up punches. Before we get into sit-up punches, we're going to do some stretching again. It's always good to stretch. Stretch a little bit before, a little bit during, and a little bit after when you're cooling down, all right? We don't want to pull those muscles, okay? You get nice and warm now, so you get down, you do some stretching, get some more flexibility in that body of yours and ours. Okay, down on the floor. Butterfly position, bring this position. He's gonna come up, squeeze your arms, and then down. 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 Now squeeze and hold, squeeze. It's an isometric exercise right here. You're working the inner thigh muscles, making those muscles nice and strong, as well as warming them up. Working those hips, both sides of the hips, and the hip joint, all right, that area there. Fixing those muscles there, making them strong. So you don't have hip issues when you grow up and get older. Now relax, 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 relax. Down. Let them hang. Let those legs just hang there right there. And you get a natural stretch from gravity. All right. Good. Very good. Very good. Now right leg out. Left foot here. This is called figure four on the floor. Some of you guys know this already. Anyway, foot is out. Leg is here. Making a four. Grab that toe. If you grab that toe, you're gonna flex. Let that toe pull your arm, which in turn is gonna stretch your back of your arm, stretch your back, and stretch the back of your legs a little bit, okay? So the thing is, I always tell everyone, my students, if you can't touch your toes, touch your ankles. If you can't touch your ankles, touch your shin. If you can't touch your shin, touch your knees. If you can't touch your knees, do what? Right, go home, even if you're already home. All right, go in your room if you can't touch your knees, okay? <laughs> so let's go, ready? Grab that toe, flex, flex, flex. Grab the ankle, flex, flex, flex. Grab that shin, flex, flex, flex. Grab that knee, flex, flex, flex. If you didn't grab your knee, go to your room. Switch legs. Take your four on the floor on the other side. Same thing, grab those toes and flex. Flex. I know we got people in the school that can do this. I've seen you do it. Say some of your older girls are very flexible, and some of you're not. But anyway, those that are flexible, this is yours. Do this. This is your exercise. Flex. Now grab the ankle. This is, those that are, this is for those that are less flexible. Grab the ankle and flex and flex and stretch and stretch and stretch. Don't bounce. And nice and smooth. Not ballistic. Nice and smooth. We don't want to bounce and pull anything. Now grab that shin. Now we're stretching, stretching. Stretching. Grab that knee. Stretching. Stretching. Can't grab that knee. Go to your room. Back to the butterfly position. Here. Come up. Squeeze those arms with those legs. 
Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Relax. We're going to get two more of those. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Relax. We get one more of those. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Relax. All right. Now we're a little warm, a little flexible. Now we get into something that's really nice. I'm sure you'll like it. Hands start here. Knees bent. You can put your feet flat on the floor. It's good. If you can't, get on your heels, whatever. If you can't do this, I'm going to demonstrate it to you first, right? Here we go. Hands are like this. We go down. We come up. We go. Hands here. And go down. And come up. And go. If you can't do it without your legs flying back like this, put your legs under the couch or under something that has somebody hold your feet. If you have a partner that's good, your little brother, your big brother, your little sister, your big sister, or your mom or your dad, hold those feet. And you go back like this, hands crossed on your, over your body like this. Go down and come up and go. And go down, come up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Hands here. Now go down nice and slow. See how strong your abs are. You want abs of steel? Want that six pack? Want that washboard ab? You gotta do stuff like this. See that? Muscle, baby. All right, go. Down, down. Hold it. Don't go all the way down yet. And then down. Nice. Okay, sit up. Deep breath into your nose, out to your mouth. Into your nose, out to your mouth. Into your nose, out to your mouth. Just don't breathe out anybody's face or faster, remember? We want to break anybody's fast with that breath. No, just joking. Anyway, okay. We did the stretching. We did a punch, punch, punch from the sit-up. What's next? What do you want to do next? Let's think of exercise to do next. And let's do your favorite and mine. Not really mine, but the mountain climber. All right? A lot of little guys like to do the mountain climber. Those second graders, they like to do a mountain climber, especially Yan. She likes that. That's one of her favorite exercises. So anyway, she's not watching this video because this video is for the older kids. Maybe you older kids can tell her. But anyway, we're going to do the mountain climb. Down in this position here, hands here, and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See that? You guys know that. Let's do some more. Eight, nine, ten. Got it? Let's get five more. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's do this. Back foot flat, this foot flat, hands here, knees bent. Now stretch that left leg, that back leg, stretch it. And then come up. Now you're gonna switch legs. This knee's gonna be bent, this leg's gonna be straight. Stretch that back leg. Stretch, 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 stretch that back leg, stretch, stretch. Now come forward, both legs straight. Hey, palms on the floor, head down, grab those ankles. Relaxing, resting, and stretching all at the same time. We're multitasking, guys, we're multitasking. Okay, come up nice and slow so you don't get a super head rush. Walk those feet together. Shake your fingers, shake your arms, shake your leg. Now, exercise is very, very important. I hope you realize that, I hope you know that. You think, oh, I don't want to do that. You need to do it, it's good for your body. It's also good for your mind. If you get that blood flowing, that's what we used to do um, assemblies. The more you did assemblies, you get that blood flowing, get that blood oxygen and everything going right to that brain of yours. That big brain, so you use that brain energy, get those problems solved, become the next engineer, doctor, nurse, lawyer, whatever it is you're gonna be. You gotta get that blood flowing to that brain first. You can be as smart as you want, but you'll get that blood flowing up there, it's not, it's gonna be like tilt, like this. Out of order. So I get that blood flowing up. That's why we do exercise. That's why we do exercise at the beginning of school. At the assembly, remember? Good old days. Anyway, shake those things loose again. Arms, legs, neck. Get loose, get loose, get loose. I know I'm talking a lot, but 
It is what it is, as they say. All right. Coming down the wire now. Time to finish up. We're going to do some high arm swings and legs like this. And here. And here. Got it? We're going to do 10 of those. Nice and high. Nice, nice speed to finish up. Then we're going to cool down by slowing the technique down, by slowing the march down. Got it? Let's go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now slow. One, two, three, four. We're getting a little bit lazy. Five. Relax a little bit. Six, don't fall asleep. Seven, let your shoulders hang. Eight, nine, ten, bang. Okay, feet together, hands to your side. Back up a little bit so your head's on the frame. Touch those toes with your fingers. Touch those toes. Now touch those toes with the palms of your hand. Touch your feet with the palms of your hand. Touch your feet with the palms of the hand. Palms, palms, feet. Touch it. Okay, don't cheat. Keep those knees as straight as possible. Don't cheat yourself. Don't say, I'm too tired to do this. Let's do this. We're finishing up right now. Let's go. Palms to your feet. Palms to your feet. Palms to your feet. Head down. Put those feet together. Now grab your ankles. Head down. Keep that balance. Don't fall over. It's almost time to break fast. Now coming up. Depends on what time you're watching this video. A good time to work out is just before it's time to break fast. Just before it's time. That's the best time, at least for me, the best time to work out. I used to work out when I was like much, much younger. I would work out super, super hard. It's not going to be a long story. I would work out super, super hard. Bam, we do martial arts. Working out, bam, 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 right? Super, super hard. And it's time, bam, time to break fast. I break fast, drink some water. I run across the street from my dojo to the pizza shop, get a pizza. Sit down. Nice, nice. All right, right? I think this was before I was married. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Probably was. So anyway, then I go to the house and eat some real food. <laughs> anyway, it's been fun for me. I hope for you. And until next time, we're going to do this again, inshallah. Till next time, assalamu alaikum. See you, inshallah. <laughs> Walking through the crowded streets of a market in Morocco Sitting on a smiling camel in the desert of Arabia